There we go. <clears throat> And so every year I'd say, well, I'm going to work a little harder and work a little harder. Like if I could make $50,000 a year more, I, I could do all kinds of things. And then at the end of the year, it was like, oh, damn it, I miss the same old thing, you know, 5,000, 10,000 up or down. It was like I was stuck in this income rack and I thought, what's going on? Maybe it's the company. My family was just going down the tubes, really lost it one day and I just snapped and I started yelling. If you're there, I need help. Like this is the time, let me know. My company has increased exponentially. Um, I owe a lot to TAR just to give me even the confidence to even hire somebody. It's unbelievable what, what's happened and what can happen ahead. At that time I was at 70 or 80,000 and we're, we're on target to hit um, over half a million in sales this year. I have restructured the whole company, brought in a business partner, uh, given away my responsibilities in the company, hired in sales reps. Now I am attracting more people who want to take my company in different divisions that I wasn't even really contemplating. I've written the book. I'm in the process of how do I get it out there publishing. I'm scared to death, but I'm doing it. I actually want to do what I was afraid of. I would have never dreamt that I would walk into the office of a CEO of a multi-billion dollar company and not be terrified and actually be longing to meet with them. Everything has changed. So I've learned that I really do have infinite potential. It's, it's limitless. And as a result, magical things have happened beyond my expectations. If I, if I can use a dash word, it would be life-changing. Life-changing. Phenomenal growth gift. Going through this course, somebody handed you almost your instruction package to say, here, go through this. Here are the instructions to be who you were meant to be. Knowing what I know now, if I even knew that then, I probably would have paid double. Make the decision and do it, period. There's no, like, what, what are you waiting for? Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Let's get the cameras on. Let's get everybody here to say hello. Am I audible? Oh, I guess I gotta stop the video. Yeah, you're audible. All right. Good to hear. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Thank you for being here. Thanks for joining today. That's so awesome. Good to see you, Simon and Aditi, Ishan, Mansi, and Vijaya. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You so much. So nice to meet you. Absolutely. Same here. I'm excited. Uh, it's going to be two hours that uh, are uh, different than what I usually do. Usually I do a three-day launch or a five-day launch or a one hour. But today we decided to do something really, really special for you. So I uh, wanted to be relaxed, enjoy it. And it's just uh, it's just going to be a wonderful experience in the way I see it. So welcome. Uh, really excited to have you all here. So why don't we start... Uh, just by tell me, we'll start. I'll I'll pick on the screen, I guess. Uh, tell me your name, who you are, what you do, and where you're coming from. So we'll start with uh, Suma Dipta. Uh, can you please go ahead? Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, Kamal. Uh, <clears throat> thanks for inviting me over here. Mm -hmm. I'm Suma Dipta Das from India. I'm a, a co-founder and the CEO of the Track to Digital. It's a digital marketing company. Very cool. Awesome. Welcome. 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 Good to see you all the way from India. Wow, probably a little bit late, but that's awesome. Thank you. Aditi, tell us who you are, what do you do, and where are you calling from? Uh, uh, I am from India, West Bengal, and uh, I am a content writer by profession. I have been uh, writing content since the last uh, six years, and uh, thank you so much for inviting me here. Very good. Awesome. Glad to have you here. Simon Lee, am I saying your name right, Simon? Is it the way it is? Yes. Yes, Simon, yes. Um. I am in the U.S. and I'm the uh, chief commercial officer for a digital healthcare company. So we've created apps on mm -hmm. smartphones for detecting certain diseases in the eye. Very cool. Very cool. Where in the U.S., Simon? Uh, in Florida. Florida. Beautiful, yep. beautiful state. Awesome. I love Florida. Thanks. Every time I visit, I have a lot of fun. So welcome. Great to have you here. And I'm excited to learn more about 
this medical <clears throat> stuff you're in. Sounds exciting. Cool. Ishan, tell us uh, where you're at and what do you do? <clears throat> Hi, Kamal. My name is Ishan and I'm from India. And I'm also co-founder of uh, Tractorital. And thank you so much to invite me this wonderful, wonderful event. And I'm so excited to uh, get the values. So thank you so much. And my expertise is I'm a technical expert. I'm handling all the systems, stops, technical things. Yeah. So thank you so much. Wonderful. Great to hear. Awesome. And we'll go next to Bijaya. I'm just going in the order the way it's on my screen. Bijaya, tell us what you do and uh, where you're at. Hi, Kamal. Hi, everyone. How are you? I'm yeah, uh, fabulous. So, um, my name is Vijay Datta and I'm from India and thanks for inviting with this amazing to this amazing meeting and this platform and also I'm a CEO of uh, Track to Digital and my zone of genius is uh, content writer. Content writing. Wow, love that. We 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 could all use some of that. So along good. with that I'm also doing uh, copywriting also. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Good to hear. And I just want to welcome Sarah Lips. Thanks for joining us, Sarah. Hello, how you doing? I'm great. Thank you, Kamal. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah. And yeah, not not too bad for a Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. So just to introduce myself to you guys, uh, my name is Dr. Sarah Lips. I'm in the San Diego area in California. And I am a comprehensive financial advisor. I work independently. So that way I can best serve my clients. And I have a couple of other projects I'm working on currently. I have, there's a, an online platform that's all done through the blockchain where I'm helping some of my clients and friends to be able to invest in uh, financial technology, real estate, as well as green energy. And this is super exciting because they're actual tangible properties. So you're not just, mm. you know, playing in a crazy market that you don't own, you know, a tangible, uh, you know, entity. So that's very exciting. And then I have another big project that I'm working on that is going to be a disruptor in the healthcare industry that could potentially affect 161 millions of, of Americans. Mm -hmm. by putting over $10,000 a year back into their pockets to reimburse them for their high deductibles. So I'm super, wow. super excited about that. And I guess my biggest challenge right now is managing my time, managing my energy, and just telling fear and anxiety it has no place here because mm -hmm. I know what I'm up to. I have a very tall task. But I'm super excited. And the fact that I get to positively affect so many lives is really, really amazing. And I'm just grateful to be here and happy to be part of this group. Love it. Thank you so much. Really yeah. appreciate you showing up and being here with us. And uh, definitely good to see you. I love the mission that you're on. And definitely what you're working on intrigues a lot of people. You know, there's these things out there that are happening. People don't understand it. And uh it's good to have you here with us. So I'm sure we'll be talking a little bit more about the things that you that are causing you some trouble. We'll, uh, we'll be hinting on those three things. And of course, not last but not least, but I see Dublin is in as well. Mansi, tell us uh, what, what, what do you do and where are you calling from? Mansi, Ganda. Thank you, Kamal. Thank you for the opportunity that, you know, uh, I'm here and I'm so excited for today's event. Uh, I am into business development. This is Manji Ganda. I am from India and I am into business development. We have a company called Track to Digital and apart from that, I'm into performance marketing and uh, different things as well and exploring myself to know more about it. And that is why I'm here and excited. Yes. And we help people to uh, grow uh, digitally to grow uh, themselves, like how they want to grow, how what, what if they have anything require, required for their digital need, then we are here, yes. Very cool. Love that. Everybody would love to grow. So glad to have you here with us. And yeah. uh, if I'm saying- We would love now, to help. Yeah, that's that's everybody wants to grow. I think a part of the, our spirit is growth. And we're going to touch a bit on that. And if you do performance marketing growth, that's what we want to talk about uh, as well. So thank you. 
Absolutely. Welcome. Good to have you here. And Deblina Swamaker. Actually, Deblina is my uh, sister. So, oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, Deblina, cool. could you please uh, introduce yourself? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. My name is Deblina. So I am into sales from past three years. I'm from India. Mm -hmm. So currently I'm not working anywhere. So I want to start my own boutique for uh, sarees, if you know. it's a, It is an Indian wear. Uh, so I want to start uh, my own creation, my own boutique. Mm -hmm. So I'm preparing for that. I'm wishing that I can start up with uh, my own dreams, my uh, own creation. And that's it. Love that. Awesome. I love the vision and the growth. So that is cool. And uh, Kamal. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. One of my yeah, one of my friend has joined from New York. His name mm -hmm. is Rahul. Okay. Uh Rahul, are you able to hear me? Yes, Zas. I can hear you very well. Cool. So tell uh, us thank who you, you are thank and you, what Rahul. do you do? Yeah. Hi, how are you, sir? Very good. Amazing. Blessed. Grateful. Tell us who you are, where are you calling from, and what do you do? I'm from New York City. Actually, uh, what I do is something I actually have a lot of tales to. Well, I'm an entrepreneur because I have a couple of businesses that I run. Okay. I um, I'm a motivational speaker. I advocate for mental health for the past five years. I have a platform called Your Life Experiences with Ra. I take people's stories, their struggles from where they are in life to where they are today because. That's how most of the people go into depression by some of the struggles they have within themselves. So mm -hmm. I do that. I have two books. One is releasing. One has been released last year and one is releasing on August 18th. It's a kid's book about the pandemic. And I'm a singer as well. In, in, in short, that's what I do. <laughs> love it. I love it. I want to know more about what you're doing and how you're helping others with the uh, mental health. So I'm excited and I'm grateful to have you all here. So we're going to be Thank together you. for about two hours uh, and I want you all to be relaxed. Uh, I want you here to come to learn. I want you to open your mind and uh, hear and listen to something that you probably never heard before. Or if you've heard it, it's going to be different because it's coming from my heart to you. And uh, in a little bit as well, we'll also put in the chat the workbook, which is an amazing bonus for all of you. That's the surprise bonus that we're going to use part of it uh, to actually do a little exercise as we go through these two hours. Um, again, I want you to be comfortable, get a glass of water. We will have a little breaks here and there to do the exercises. And uh, it's uh, a pleasure to have you all here. So let me minimize the uh, video part of the screen and maximize my PowerPoint. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Can you see my screen fully? Yeah. All right. Good, 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 good. And as you see, I'm in relaxed mode. I was supposed to put my jacket on, but uh, it's kind of nice to be without the jacket. So, but so please uh, excuse me, not having my jacket on. Usually I do, but today somehow I did not. So, so welcome. Welcome to a different kind of seminar, different kind of uh, opportunity for all of you to listen to a few things that if you implement in your life, if you implement these uh, ideas, the results will stick. You probably, most of you have seen many seminars. Most of you have seen many webinars. Most of you have seen many three-day, five-day challenges. Uh, this is what I call a seminar with results that stick because I'm going to touch on a few points that are really true. And if you allow it to come into your life like I did when I met my mentors, it can do a huge, huge change uh, for your business, for yourself, for your team, for your family. Now, I'm grateful to have you all here and nice to meet all of you and see your names and uh, learn your businesses and what you do. Uh, this is just a little bit about me, although today is mostly about your goals and your dreams. It's really not about me. It's about you. But I got to tell you who I am and what I do in case this is the first or second time or you've never heard of me, like some of you are new into my community. So I am a published author. That's uh, one of my books. The second one is coming out, the workbook for it. We call it Thinking Into Results. And that's basically what Bob Proctor taught me. Um, I'm a business and mindset coach. Been in business here in the U.S. and Canada about 25 years. Got several degrees, five um, plus. And uh, I consider myself an expert in many areas, specifically in Think and Grow Rich and leading teams and people to that next level. 
I'm grateful for Laura Langmeyer. Some of you know her, like uh, Sarah, Dr. Sarah. Laura is my business uh, mentor for myself, and she's actually wrote the foreword of this book. And Raymond Aaron also helped me publish the book, and both of them are number one New York bestsellers. So I am grateful for what has happened. In the short amount of time that I jumped into the coaching world and being with Bob Proctor and several other elite mentors, I'm now, you know, being uh, mentored by, you know, Laurel, Harrison Klein, John Demartini, Les Brown, uh, phenomenal people. And I'm grateful that I'm able to do that. Uh, I didn't see it as a possibility, but now it is. And um, I'm showing you this just so that you feel that what you're getting is um, the summary of what I've learned, the summary of what I saw that works. And if you take it and listen to it, it's going to help you. So this is just one of the events where I was with Laura on stage, speaking on goal setting and achieving, speaking on how Dale Carnegie and uh, Napoleon Hill really implemented this laws of success into life. So just a quick snippet to show you that uh, there are just a few of the places that I've been. And let me hit the play here. Making it, investing it, like working through it. You can't just be sitting there reading a book. So very similar, Bob Proctor is very active about mindset and that's what he studies. So we're gonna do some goal setting and uh, get you set to have an amazing couple days. I'll be right back. Absolutely, thank you so much. So I'm, it, investing it. like I said, grateful that I was able to jump on stages very quickly, but it only happened after I accepted the challenge and accepted the growth and I saw that mentorship is the way to go. See, it took me 22, 23 years with getting so many degrees to achieve few things. And I did fairly well from having nothing, from having coming from Lebanon on a boat with a backpack. But it took me a long time. And now in the last two, three years with mentorship and guidance and using this material that uh, you're going to see and feel a part of it today has really uh, pushed me a whole lot further uh, in the right direction. This is, again, another picture of myself, my daughter here beside Laurel. Laurel is beside me there. And three amazing people. They're multimillionaires, you know, speaking on stages. And this would not have happened if this material did not come into my life. And that's that's why I'm sharing this with you. It's not to brag. This is just to show you that the material works. It works everywhere. And it works for everyone. And it can work for you if you allow it. That's why I call it a seminar masterclass with results that stick. In the Bob Proctor community, there's over 2,000 coaches. But I'm... Uh, Unfortunately, very few of us make it to the top because of the discipline that it takes and the effective leadership that you need to really advance. I'm grateful that uh, I was one of the top 10 just a few months ago. And uh, it's just incredible that I'm able to help people, right? Help others really um, move because my job is to, I know you can do it. I know you have what it takes. But my job over the next few hours, a couple hours, and you know, for the future as we work together, is to really turn the switch on for you so that you can jump, so that you can move your results. So on my left there on that picture is Harrison Klein. He's uh, my partner in one of the programs that we have, uh, the Wealthy Mofos. And at the bottom right is Les Brown. Les Brown is a dear friend of Harrison, and we get together often. We were in an interview with him. Uh, just the other day, and that will be released uh, soon. He's phenomenal. Uh, he's The gentleman is 77, and he saw what we're doing. He saw how we're helping others. And uh, I, 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 the guy's mission is incredible. He is considered the number one speaker in the world right now. And uh, to be in his presence two, three, four times a month, to have that opportunity, I'm grateful. And I'm grateful for you that you are here, every one of you. So, uh what I'm going to share with you next is uh, meant to have you see the power that this material can really get you to take the action that you need, remove the fear that is holding you back, really see yourself in a much bigger way because you are, right? Uh, and uh, I think we have a quick video from Les. I think this is it. This is what, uh, out of nowhere, when we were interviewing Les, he said, let me tell you let me share with the world what you guys are doing. So this is what he had to say uh, about this combined program that I have with uh, with Harrison. You have something special. You have greatness in you. Hello, I'm Les Brown. We're living in a time that's very disruptive. 
and major disruption requires major transformation. Coaching and to results is very needed now more than ever before. Most people are failing now, not because they don't have the ability to do what's necessary, but you can't read the label, you're in the box. When you're in the box, your, your view is skewed. And so having somebody that's experienced, and this is what this team brings, years of success. And people say, well, experience is the best teacher. No. Wisdom is the best teacher. Their collective wisdom will liberate you. Their collective wisdom will give you the keys that you need to unlock your new future and put your success on steroids. Yes, coaching into results. Yeah, going from lip service to life service. If you're ready to win, if you're ready to create a whole life of wealth in terms of peace of mind, good relationships, as well as financial wealth. This is the team. I believe in them. And I know once you experience them, you will say, Les Brown, you knew what you were talking about. I know it's not true because you said it, but I said it because it's true. Make sure you reach out to them. Coaching into results. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So good. I'm, I'm forever grateful because this was not expected and uh, and that, that's why i share it with you because i'm i'm proud of what we've done i'm proud of what we're doing with our clients i'm proud that you are all here and i i really want you to start locking in why are you here today what why why do you want to grow like well, what is the thing that uh has been bothering you what is that one or two things in your life that you've been trying i, I know you've been trying that's why you're here right is it because you want more? Is it because you want more income? Is it because you want to make decisions fast? Or is it because you can't sleep at night and you have uh, these things going on? Like, why are you here today? Right? You, we have to, ha I want to help you lock in on it today. And with the exercises soon, we, you're going to get a chance to actually do it. It's not going to be the last time you do it, but it's going to be one of the times that you do it with us. All right. Uh, there are many reasons why you're here. There are many areas that we can help you improve. And I don't know which one that you need most to help you shift, to help you like take that leap, take that jump. Uh, the material that uh, we have uh, to share with you would really get you to do a quantum leap. It's not meant for those who want just a 1% increase in income. You could just do that by a little bit of work. It's meant to get you 10%, 100%, 200%, 500%, totally illogical, right? We got to get you to really jump. And if I can do this, you can do that. If I can go from not being known, even though I had the degrees, to now speaking with Les Brown, Harris Klein, John Martini, Laura Langmeyer, and people like yourself, it's, it's uh, if I can do this, you can do this. So start thinking as uh, we get ready to give you the, the workbook. And I don't want you to get busy with the workbook. Uh, you're going to have it. Uh, it's one of the big bonus. Nobody's ever seen it. You'll be, you're the first group that actually would see this workbook put together like this. Uh, so we're going to share it with you. Now, I'm grateful that you came. And I, I want you to decide um, that you can do this thing that you want to do. We're going to go over some of these secrets of mass, secrets of mindset, secrets of goal setting and achievement. And how do you visualize and manifest things as I learned it from Bob, Bob Proctor, as I've learned it from Harrison Klein, John Martini. There are certain things that you need to start implementing in your life. Today, I'm going to give you the beginning journey of it, okay? So these are, we're going to do three exercises today, probably with the time that we have, uh, that would take us through these three secrets. So, uh, Aditi, if you can, at some point, uh, please drop the, um, the PDF that we have in the chat. And uh, when you can, everybody just download it, and but stay with me here on the screen, all right? Are, we, are you with me? Can you can you promise to stay with me on the screen, not get busy reading the PDF? Yes. Yes? Yes. All right. I love it. I love it. I love it. So thank you. And thank you for being honest. Again, you know, I want you to be relaxed. I want you to be, I want you to enjoy this experience. Now, when my clients work with me, they have many things that uh, they want to accomplish or do. And uh, this just came a few weeks ago. We, we, I worked together with Deanne uh, for a few months. And uh, 
she's now moving her company to the next level. And next level is the 10 million plus level, right? When we started, it was in the four, four and a half million. And it's not just the money, but the money is just a number. Uh, to me, the, the money is just an, an indication of uh, how fast can you expand? How fast can you let this frequency come to you, right? But I want you, as, as you start thinking why you are here today, and as you hear the message from Leanne, I want you to lock in on this thing that you need help with. Lock in on the one problem that you would like to solve. But I'm, I'm so proud of what Diane did that uh, the team was like, oh, this was not part of the presentation. Like, you know, I really want them to see it. I want them to see how could somebody start feeling and being just after being three, four, five months with me in this community. And uh, just so proud of her work that uh, I'm going to share with you. And I hope you you see the, the words uh, reflect on where could that help you? How would you feel when you've overcome some of the things that she was going through? Let's hear what Diane had to say. Here we are. Hi, everyone. This is Diane Wagner. I'm an insurance broker in California. I recently finished the Thinking Into Results with Kamal. And... Although I have a very successful business here, I have trouble finding balance in my life. So the course helped me to visualize what I wanted in my life, goal setting, using my intuition to a higher extent, and really visualizing the results that I wanted in my life. Kamal is a pleasure to work with. He's committed to helping you reach your goals. He is a man of integrity vision, and is extremely knowledgeable. I would highly recommend that you work with Kamal and have him help you find the results that you're looking for. Or if you're just getting started, it's an eye-opening uh, book of Bob Proctor's uh, results that have proven the test of time. And I highly recommend you reach out to Kamal and set up a one-on-one. -on -one. He's a beautiful man, and I want everyone to know he's there and to reach out and work with him. Thank you so much, Kamal. You have made my life so much better than before, and love you with all my heart. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Reach out to Kamal, and your life will change in a beautiful way. Thank you so much. Truly really beautiful. Hi, and uh, it's it's uh, a testament of, of the courage, a testament of the material, a uh, testament of what you can do and what you can achieve in a very short amount of time. Even, even if you have a good life, even if you have a decent income, but you can multiply it. You can grow the team. Uh, like I said, we're working on the $10 million level now. And it's just phenomenal that it's uh it's becoming a reality you know she's working 3 days a week feeling better becoming better because average is over when you start collaborating with with material like this you shift very very quickly if you allow it to work on you and i starting to coin this term average is over it's time to step on the gas and become the man, the woman, the king, the queen that you want to become. It's time to let average go behind and move over to a whole other level of achievement. You see, I, I was average before. I was doing okay after 22, 23 years, but it was taking too long. And I wanted to do more in my life. I wanted to give more. And I started asking these questions. Started asking myself questions that attracted some people into my life that have made a big difference. And you have to kind of think, what do I really want? Like, what, 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 what are you doing now so you can move in this direction? What, what do we need to, how much more belief and confidence we have to instill in you so that you can move? But are you hungry, right? With my good friend, Les Brown, he always says, are you hungry, right? Now, believe me, we're in 2023. We got five months left. And there's still time this year for you to make it. I don't know what happened with you in 2022 or the beginning of 2023. We still have time this year for you to double your income. Add a few team members. Cut out a couple of days of work a week. If you choose to do that, if that's what you want. The year is not over. 
And this year, if you choose to make it, you can make it happen. If you choose to focus on something that's really important to you, you can still, if you, uh, if you decide to block all the nonsense that's going on out there and say, you know what? I am who I want to become. I'm not going to listen to the world out there. I'm not going to listen to the negativity. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to become the man or the woman I want to be. You can do that. Because if I can do this, you can do this. But there are certain tweaks that I'm going to share with you on the mindset and how you will, because nobody understands mindset. Nobody, very few actually do. I shouldn't say nobody, but very, very few. See, you have to become the man or the woman when you decide, when you start learning to make decisions, when you start putting yourself first. I want to help you raise your net worth to become that individual you want to become. That's what this material is all about. Now, this happened to me when I was asking these questions. When I was in the industry, steel making, the hardest industry in the world is steel making. Like there's dirty, it's, it's uh, taking scrap ore and melting it and making stuff out of it, making people work, sweat, hot. And I was doing okay, but it was taking me too long, 22, 23 years. And I didn't even have what I needed to help others. I wanted to support my village. I wanted to support some kids in Africa. I wanted to support my family with some extra vacation. And there was just not enough, right? You, you. That's how I met with this material. I was doing it the hard way first. I was working hard because that's how I was taught. My mindset was work hard. Money is hard to get. You get another degree. Until I met this man, Bob Proctor. Got a picture of him here on my wall as well, right? And then he started talking to me about goal setting and achieving. He started telling me that goal setting is a science. It's not about working hard. Even in the book, in Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Glorious, he said, if you think working hard is the way, perish the idea. It's not by working hard because you've already been working hard. The fact that you're here tells me you have been working hard. It's not by hard work. I was like, wow, what are you talking about, Bob? He goes, trust me, come along with me. Come along with me. And I decided to do it. I decided to really spend the time and learn some things that Bob cherished for 61 years. And I am now forever grateful that I did that. I jumped, I took that leap to spend some time with him because he's now gone. He was considered the number one in human potential in the world. Not too many get this kind of opportunities, right? And he taught me the key, if I give you a summary of what he taught me, to really find out what I want, he taught me the goal setting, the paradigm shifting, and decision making. Really, if I'm to summarize it in 20 seconds, that's how it is. But he also told me one thing that I'm always seeking good people to hang around and mentors, right? He said, all successful people have mentors. I'm like, wow. I've been working for 22 years. I thought I had a mentor. I had a boss. I had a plant manager. I, I had a, a team leader. That was not a mentor. The difference. It's different by having a manager or a boss or a father or a dad or a mom or a cousin or an uncle that's looking after you. That's not a mentor. They could be, but most likely they're not. That's when I started to grow, when I started to really understand what Bob is teaching me because he understood it very, very well. I mean, he was in the movie The Secret and he talked a lot about uh, the law of attraction and the movie, The Secret, unfortunately, uh, did not help a lot of people because nobody knows how the law of attraction works. Nobody understands this mindset business. But today is about your goals and your dreams. Mindset. See, your mind is already set. And I want to help you set that mind of yours on something bigger, something phenomenal, something that you really want, which is the reason why you're here. Like maybe, I mean, I, a lot of, a good chunk, I would say about maybe 40, 50% of the people that come to work with me, they want to move their income. You can consider success anything you want, but if you start to put numbers on it, it's pretty much above 500,000 a year. There are some uh, talks now saying, yeah, you need a lot more than that because of inflation, cost, and all that. So we just came up with a number here. We said $870,000 a year. That's $2,400 a day. How far are you from this success, right? Now, when I started working with this material, I started believing it's doable. I started thinking it can do this. I can do this. And then now I can do this. But two, three years ago, I couldn't. I wasn't making that. I had five degrees. I was making decent income, but I wasn't even close to this. What is success, right? Um, 
look at this statistic. And that's what, what ignites me to teach now on help coach and mentor, right? This 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 is uh this data is is, is um so real, it's crazy. It could be even worse. There's only one percent of the people who are really rich, right? Four percent financially independent means they're not worried about time, they're not worried about money. There's five percent of the people who retire above the age of sixty-five. I don't like the word retirement, anyways. They are still working, and you see them, moms and dads. Uh, at the shop, like why? And there's 54% who are broke. In the most successful nation in the world, in the United States, in Canada, in some parts of Europe, people are broke. Now, Earl Nightingale said, this is simply because people don't think. I love Earl's work. I'm studying his work. I'm, you know, I'm continuing to study Bob's work, but now I'm studying Earl because Earl Nightingale was the one who mentored Bob. See, most people are looking for time and money freedom. You want to have control of your time and you want to have a lot of money to spend and buy things and do things without worrying about your bills. I think earlier in the conversation, uh, we heard from Dr. Sarah that she wants to do more in less time. How do you do that? See, you don't manage time. You manage activities. We all get the same amount of time. We all get 24 hours, but some people are able to manage hundreds of thousands of people, 10, 20, 30 companies. Others like us growing in the ranks, we're barely keeping up with two companies or one company or three companies or one team. I have managers with 10 people or five people and they're struggling. They can't keep up like, because they don't manage their activities. They don't manage their mindset. And then we have some other people that really want to grow their money. You want to learn what to do with money. Like you have to let this money come to you and understand what money is, right? Now to do this, as we're going to get into the first exercise, there are some fears that are in your mind, and this is where mindset starts to hit home and hit hard, right? What kind of mindset are you in? Are you in a poverty mindset? Are you in a criticism mindset? Do you fear what others are saying? Well, how, how do we overcome these things? Like I used to have a poverty mindset because I came from Lebanon. We had nothing. We had lack. We had no food, no water. And then when we had it, it was so little. I had to overcome these things for it to grow because you only become what you think about. You become more of who you are as you start growing your wealth and you can't grow if you have a poor mindset. Some people are afraid of ill health, loss of love, old age, right? We get into way more detail uh, into the studies as we go into these six causes of fear because these are the things that are happening in your mind that are keeping you from sleeping, that are keeping you from managing and leading your teams effectively. The criticism, the, uh, the fear, the loss, the poverty. We have to eliminate these ghosts. Indecision, doubt, and fear. This is the unholy trinity. It's a beautiful chapter from uh, Think and Grow Rich. Now, as I started learning all these things, my life has changed so dramatically. Uh, this is incredible. I'm just in awe in the, in the change just over the past two and a half, three years. And it's accelerating. I mean, I won't go in detail into all these things, but you could see all the places we've been. You could see the book that's published. You can see the second book's coming up. All these places I'm speaking on stages, the income, but it's not really not about me. I, I want to show you what my clients, because I want you to have these results, right? I want you to be on stages with, you know, Glenn Morshauer, Tom Ziegler, the son of Zig Ziegler, right? I want you to start having the success, but it starts with mindset. Like what's your attitude towards your success? We, we're going to start getting into the first secret and into the first exercise very, very soon. How? What is this mindset is all about? If your mind is already set, can you set your day to be successful? Do you wake up and say, I'm going to be successful today? You, do you talk nice to yourself? Do you, do you feel that you're actually going to make it, right? Now, in, in many of the classes, you hear that from Bob, 95% mindset, 5% strategy to achieve a goal, to do something. is You got to believe that you can do it. If you don't believe you can do it, you're not going to do it. 95% mindset, 5% strategy. Until you start believing it, it's going to be fantasy. You see, everything is already here. Science and religion both agree that everything is already here. So all the techniques, all the things, all the funnels, all the stuff is here. Now, it's just maybe not with you, not in your system, not in your company, but it's already here. You're just not aware of it. So 
Everything is already mindset. We just have to become aware. We got to go from not knowing to knowing, ignorant to knowledgeable. But what is our attitude towards this mindset? Let's see, when I wake up every day, and I don't know if some of you have seen the video on uh, five parts to a successful day. This is probably something that we should teach you how uh, to do. Uh, but it is in one of the videos in one of the funnels, uh, how to set your day for success. How, how to really wake up every morning and have a, a very simple, successful plan like successful people do so that you can start having a good day every day. See, that's what Thinking Ninja does is about. It's about the GPS. You want to go from A to B, and I'm going to show you some points in a second how you can go from A to B. But Thinking Ninja does is the system that would take you from A to B. And it could be about what do you really want from lesson one. Then it could be about some of you don't do what you know how to do, lesson two. And then you don't believe in the magnificent power that's available. You don't believe in the higher power. You'd, you'd think just because I can speak on stages, you can't. You compare others to you and you put yourself down. No, you can do anything you want. You can be like Les Brown. You can be like Laurel Lagmire. You can be like all these famous people you want to be like. You ju we just put ourselves down, but we need to unshackle ourselves and know. This is what we teach you here in lesson three, four, and five. In lesson six, we call it a, a self-image. How do you see yourself? What is your attitude towards your business? Do you see it succeeding? When you go into a meeting with somebody that you're about to meet, do you already have the plans that they are going to pick up the pen and sign the check for you? Or are you saying, oh, they're not going to like it? No, they're going to say no. So we have to reframe the mindset. And that's what the GPS is all about. That's what thinking into results is the map, how to go from A to B. We set a goal and we take you through it. So now, as I've achieved three out of my four goals, I keep going through the system to achieve my goals, right? Lesson seven, some of you are afraid. How many of you are afraid from growth? How many of you are afraid from selling your company? I'm working with a gentleman. He's about to sell his company for about $18 million, but he's scared. It's a private client. He's scared because he doesn't know what's going to happen. Now, he's going to make some money up front, but he doesn't know what's going to happen. What is he going to do after he sells it? Is the company going to survive, right? So this terror barrier, this fear of change and growth is real. These six ghosts of fears are real. While we teach you how to overcome these six ghosts of fear by lesson seven, right? And then some of us, because I, I only speak about my experience, by the way, right? I mean, I share with you material from all over the world. But I, when you come and work with me, I'll share with you my experience in these lessons. The power of praxis, that's believing, right? What do you believe? Do you believe you can do it or not? Henry Ford said, if you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, you can't. You're right either way. So let's say you want to be a uh, 100 millionaire individual. How do you become a 100 million, million dollar individual? You start acting, being, feeling, talking like one. But are you doing it? That's the power. We're not. I know I'm not doing 100 millionaire acts yet. I want to be a 10 millionaire first. That's annual, right? I want, I, want, I want to be there first. You have to start being. So we teach you how to integrate your wants and beliefs with your behavior so that you can actually connect. Because once that idea fuses in the subconscious mind, that's how it becomes easy. Right now, it's all by pressure, force, and hard work. And then the last three lessons are more about masterminding, leadership, growing a team, you becoming the best version of yourself. We teach you how to, um, when people meet you, they have to like you. But how do they like you? You, ha you have to become likable. You have to become interesting. Some people say, I don't have any friends. Well, are you friendly? Some people say, I I'm not a good networker. Well, do you want to become a good networker? See, you have to become the thing that you want. So people know the words. We become what we think about, but they don't do it. So then it becomes like, oh, this thing doesn't work. Well, no, it's not doesn't work. You just didn't believe it. So we teach you how you can do that, how you could do that with ease. Um, it's, it's just so incredible. And then masterminding, we do that at the next level. So when you come and work with me, we I, I'll teach you the material that you need to take this GPS and have the map for the goal to be achieved. And I call it 150 years of science and psychology. So this is the legacy. If you think about it, so powerful. I mean, I was mentored by Bob Proctor, who was mentored by Earl, who was mentored by the one and only Napoleon Hill, and he was mentored by Dale. So that's the lineage, right? It's, it's so powerful. 
it just still gives me the chills that I'm like, it's so close, right? And you could be next. You can have this toolbox of the most successful people. Now, you might be thinking, uh, does Elon Musk use this material? He probably used something like it. Maybe not exactly the same words, maybe the same books. Who's using this material? A lot of people, millions of people that are successful have used Bob's material and Earl's. So incredible. And that's what I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you how this works. We're going to break it down like, like, a, like a science, right? All right. So <clears throat> I believe um, we did you did we put the uh, file in the chat so that we they can have the uh, we're going to come close to the first exercise. OK, I see the file is in the chat. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. Bring this file again. Sorry, tell me again. Uh, I'm putting this file again. On the okay, chair. sure. All right, so I'm going to go to the next part of the exercise and start thinking as to when you think of something that you want, do you believe that you can do it? But before I go further, any questions so far on, on what I've shared? Is, is, is there somebody with a question? Because I want you to participate. And if you guys want to, you know, put your you know questions in the chat, you can, or you can speak, you can speak. It's all good. We're good. Okay. Rock and roll. Let's rock and roll, baby. Here we are. So I asked you earlier, why are you here? And what do you really want? It's the same question that Bob asked me, right? So when you... When you write that question down, or the answer to that question, do you believe that you can do it? Do you believe that you can achieve this thing that you want? Remember what Henry Ford said, if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you're right. Now, what if I can teach you how to believe what you want before it really happens, so it starts happening, right? That's what believing, right? What, what do we believe in, right? I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about believing in the goal, believing in the million dollars, believing in that next level success. Most people are interested in succeeding, but they're not committed and they don't believe, right? Most people uh, don't think, so they don't think about big goals to start with. They don't have big dreams and they're just carrying on working hard throughout their life because that's how they are programmed. But we're going to alter the programming. We're going to put like a little jolt to it to have you be more, do more, and do more. That's the idea because we can have more and be do more and be more. We can. See, if I can do this, you can do this, right? I, I can. I. It's 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 incredible where this material has taken me. But you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision where you want to go. So look, work with me on this diagram. It has a lot on it, but stay with me at the bottom here. Okay, I don't have a lot of animation on it, but look at the bottom. You see, we think on frequencies, all right? We think each one of these white lines and the horizontal, these are frequencies. And at the bottom are your results. Whatever is your result. You could be a $100,000 man or woman. You could be a $10,000 man or woman. You could be a million. Doesn't matter. These are your results. Your mind, our thoughts are on this frequency, this red one at the bottom. The red one that's at the bottom, that's where you are right now. And you think like that, you're acting like that, you're becoming like that, and that's what you have. Everything is on a frequency. Everything is vibrating. The computer, the phone, my hand, we are just vibrating. We are on a, on a frequency and vibration. Now, this goal that we want is high, high up in the sky. It's higher than you. It's at a different frequency and vibration. So if these white lines are frequencies and vibration, this goal is just at a higher frequency and vibration. So you see the law of attraction in the movie The Secret uh, did a lot of people a disservice because people don't really understand it. Well, I'm going to debunk it and show you how you can really change, right? I'll show how to make a good decision, how to make a committed decision, because this goal that you want is just at a higher frequency. So uh, your emotions are at a different frequency than where you are right now. Your love is the highest frequency, okay? Now, this goal that you want could be money, it could be a relationship, it could be business, it's just at a higher frequency. Your mind and thought must operate at the same frequency as the goal. See, right now, let's go back to the bottom, the red line. 
your results are the results of what you've been thinking. We become what we think about. We become what we think about. The goal is what you need to be thinking about. I need to be thinking about the goal achieved. I want to bring the goal to me. I want to feel what's it like to have this goal achieved before it really happens. So I got to teach you how to move your body, your mind, your thinking to a higher frequency. Your mind and thoughts must operate on the same frequency as your goal. When you do that, when you learn how to do that and consistently do it, you're going to fuse with the idea. And this is how we can start reprogramming your subconscious mind. That's all what it is. We're at the bottom and we're here and we're always moving. Like you're always moving to that next goal. Your goal, hopefully you want to grow. That's why you're here. Nobody wants to have less. Nobody wants to do less. Very few people want to do that. Most people want to laugh more, earn more, eat more, party more. They want more of everything. It's just at a different frequency. So we just have to learn how to shift to that. So, but how do you shift? This is mindset. This is attitude. This is belief. This is integration. This is the frequency and vibration of your desire are at this goal. The new goal that you want. But right now you're at the bottom. We have to teach you how to do that. Thinking into results will teach you how to make a decision to achieve that goal and stay with that goal. And once you fuse with that frequency, it has to happen. How did I meet Les Brown? I don't know the guy. Never heard of him till about two and a half, three years ago. How did I attract Bob Proctor into my life? Because I shifted my mindset to a higher frequency and vibration. And then I attracted what I wanted into my life. So we do have to take action, but it has to be the right action. That's what we're going to teach you how to do. That's what I'm teaching you how to do, right? But where is your attitude? See, if you don't have a good attitude, it ain't going to happen. You're only going to become more of who you are. You're only going to become more of who you are. So if you have a little money now and uh, you're grumpy, when you have more money in the future, you're going to be more grumpy. So you have to change your attitude from right now. And I know it's difficult. I know some of you are saying, Kamal, this does not make sense. I'm broke. I don't like where I live. I don't like the company I'm in. And I got to have a good attitude and I got to be grateful. And I'm going to say, yes, it's illogical. It doesn't make sense. Now, some people are not this excited about it, like me on this material, but I am because I know it works. You're not happy where you are. You're not happy with your income. You're not happy with, with, with the company that you're with. And you want more of life, but you're listening to a guy that's telling you you need to be happy about it to get more. And I say, yes, it's illogical. See, when you're grateful for what you have, you can be grateful for what's coming to you. Gratitude is the, is, is the answer to a whole lot of things. When you go through that lesson of attitude and gratitude with me in detail, and we go over it in two weeks to get you to really learn it, to get you to really accept the idea, you will become somebody different. You'll start understanding why you've been quitting on yourself so many times. This attitude lesson is phenomenal. Now, so many people want this stuff, but they give up too quick. Now, this lesson from Bob on leader follower was, was phenomenal because I was already leading a, a large group. I mean, as a matter of fact, I, the first company was $30 million. It was 14 when I first started. Then it became 30 after two and a half years. And the second one was a $300 million company. And he goes, you need to be a better leader. I'm like, I am. He goes, no, you, you're good, but you're not that good. You got to be a better follower first. I'm like, leader, follower. So then he said, go to lesson 10, go to lesson 11 and think in into results and study that for the next 30 days and come back. 30 days, the same lesson. I, I go, yeah, come back after you've done that. So you have to become a good follower. You have to find somebody that's doing something that you want and learn from them how they're doing it. Become a good follower by becoming a good leader. You have to be a good follower first. You got to be consistent. You got to start showing up. To achieve the goal that you want. Remember, it's all about the goal. Any of these concepts, you have to apply it to the goal that you want. If you don't apply it to your goal, you're wasting time. Now, who's around you for this goal to happen? Because I asked you, what do you really want? I'm asking you that question, like, what? how big would this goal be? And we're going to open the PDF soon to go to that question and put it on the screen and put some music and actually get you to write some things down. But I want you to start being intentional about your surroundings. 
Like I'm very careful who I hang around with. I, I don't spend any time with people that don't have big goals. I don't spend time with negative people. I don't spend time with people who are uh, upset about life and they keep complaining, right? Positive people will change your life. See, proximity is power. I got down from Tony Robbins. We were in one of the meetings and he go, oh, I, I think I asked that question. Somebody beside me did the same question. And we're like, what's it going to take? Like, how are we going to become that next level coaches? And he's like, proximity. It's a proximity. What proximity? Well, proximity is power. See, when you're in an environment that's enriching and teaching and educational and positive, you're going to start becoming like that. We are the average of the four or five people we hang around. So be very careful who you're spending time with. Even if you're a CEO of a company, it doesn't mean you're going to spend a lot of time with the people at the floor putting the pack boxes together. You got to be kind and you got to visit them, but you have to stay at your level. You have to stay at that frequency and vibration because they will pull you down. Proximity is power. Positive people, surrounding, masterminding with the right people. The other thing that people don't do, even though they want it so bad, they don't affirm their goal daily. These are the few steps that you have to do to get this goal to sink into the, your mind, to sink into your belief. And I'm going to show you a little picture in a second here as to why these are needed. And we're going to have it on, on the slides here so you can understand what I'm talking about. We have to affirm our goal all the time. See, I have my goal in my pocket, right? Right in my pocket. That's what Bob taught me. So I have my goal right here. I have it on my desk. I have it in my journal. I write it every day. I see it every day. I say it loud every day. I go to the mirror and I say it every day. I be quiet because I want it to happen. Now, this goal hasn't happened yet, but I want it to happen. So I'm affirming it, telling the universe I'm ready for it. And I take action towards it every day. We become what we think about. Earl Nightingale said in one of his articles, one of his recordings, we become what we think about. So are you thinking about your goal all the time? This is not just words. Like you have to, you can spend a whole week on these six words, right? What are you thinking about? I'm thinking success. I'm thinking happiness. I'm thinking greatness. I'm thinking clients. I'm thinking growth. I'm, I'm thinking about my goal. I'm thinking how it feels to get the goal achieved. I'm thinking how it feels when the goal is achieved. That's what I meant to say. I'm, I'm feeling the goal before it really happened. Because the law of attraction is a secondary law. The law of vibration is the primary law and feeling is everything. And I'm going to show you this diagram in a moment here. Let me take a couple more slides. Be very careful what you're thinking about. If, the, if there's a negative thought coming to your mind, you got to say, nope, I'm not going to go there. If, uh, if you have any doubts, nope, I'm not going there. I'm going to put some rules. And you're going to see some of the rules in the workbook shortly. We become what we think about. The more I study Earl, the more I know what he did was just a miracle to the world. It's too bad. It's not even uh, taught in schools. His material is, is, is phenomenal. Truly phenomenal. He's a legend. But then you get some people that don't take action. They, they think they just work on Mondays and Tuesdays and the rest of the week is vacation, you know? Well, it's fine if you have a company and people working for you, but if you don't take action daily towards your goal, it's not going to happen. So you, you got to tell the universe you're ready. The universe rewards those who take action. So you got to take action. So we have a goal. We may, we start thinking about it. We get the plan and we're going to do something exercise like that. But you got to take action. You got to show up. But some people are too scared. Some people are too timid. Some people are too busy. Some people are not focused. Some people will say, I don't have time. These are all limiting beliefs. Internal and external limiting beliefs, no time, no money, no power, no resources, no network, no connection, no funnel, all the things they bring up not to take the action. How many times have you seen it? Maybe it's on your team. People with the same resources, people with the same resources, same product, somebody's doing good and somebody sucks at it. How come? Mindset. Action. Believing in themselves. Consistently. Persisting. So many people are just not doing. So many are just going through the motions. 60% of the people in the offices nowadays or on these teams have checked out. 
they're not really on game. They, they're not even uh, willing to do what it takes. All right, so uh, I see some questions in the chat. I do want to bring out the workbook, uh, but oh, wow, I have to read that. So, <clears throat> uh, okay, so I see that question from Aditi. I have a question. It often happens that though I want to think positive, negative thoughts keep coming back. What should I do to change this? So this is where in, in the PDF, and we're going to bring it up all, shortly, I set some rules for myself, for example, as to I'm not going to allow myself to be negative. So, but to do that, you have to become more aware. You have to set your day for success. So in the morning when I wake up and I set my day and there's a way to have a routine, there's a way to be balanced. Okay. So yeah, you have to learn how to do that. We can teach you that. But when a negative thought comes, you have to be strong enough to say, nope, I'm not going there. And it's going to be difficult. Because it's going to kick you in the butt. This negative thought is going to make you cry. It's going to make you hide. It's going to make you not dress up. Ask yourself, what would your best self show up like every day? If today is your day, if this is a day like a ceremony day, if this is the day that you're going to present to the world, how would your best self show up like? Would you be negative or positive? You want to be positive. So if a negative thought comes, like you're about to go on stage and you're going to speak and you start feeling the tremors. Mm. No, if, if you're thinking too much about yourself, you're being self-centered. You got to think of serving, you got to think of others. So negative thoughts will come, but you have to learn to stop them. It's almost like this uh, small amount of time. The idea, with, because thoughts are moving. Thoughts are just energy and they're moving and they're coming to you. You have a choice as you become aware to reject it. You have a choice to reject it. And... The more you practice this, the more powerful you're going to become. All right. I found the page, which is great. So now I'm going to share the workbook. Uh, any other important questions before I share the workbook? Does that help, Aditi? Yes, I do understand. Okay. All right. There, there, there's a big one there in the big paragraph. If somebody can read it and summarize it, it would be great. I cannot read all that at this moment. But I'm going to share the PDF because we're going to start getting into that first exercise that are, is going to, what I call the mindset mastery as to what's it like to really grow yourself to that next level. But as, as I do that, and uh, just to keep a little bit more on this negative thought, right? For those who have not seen this material, how many here uh, have heard of uh, Bob Proctor? Any, any, has anybody here heard of Bob Proctor? Or is this your first time? Yes, I did. You have? Simon and Sarah? I, think I haven't so. heard of Bob Proctor, but I've certainly heard of and read Nightingale's mm -hmm. book okay. and um, uh, one of the other books you'd mentioned. Okay. Very good. Very good. So thank you for sharing, by the way. That's that's awesome because that gives me an idea of what, what to speak about next. So I want you to think of this circle as your mind. Now, it's not really like this, but we have to give you a picture because mind, our body, our mind, our physical experience, uh, we, we, we think in pictures. When you think, we think in pictures. If I tell you what's your car like, right away you have a picture, right? You don't say it's a, it's a Honda or a Mercedes. You have a picture in your mind. So this is the mind. Now, the top part of the mind is the conscious mind and the bottom is the subconscious. This is very important because this is going to help you manifest that next goal. This is going to help you really let go of some limiting beliefs. So just work with me here for a second. So based on the question in the chat and these negative thoughts that are available all the time and positive thoughts are available all the time. And I said, you need to have a good attitude. I said, you're going to have a belief in yourself, right? So whatever is happening is happening for you. Okay, everything is happening for you. But we think it's happening to us. We think we are victims. We are, we are actually heroes, right? We have these results that we're not happy about. And we want to change the results because this is our mind, conscious mind, subconscious mind. This is the body. Now the mind controls the body. Your, your mind controls your heart. 
Your mind controls your lungs. You don't tell your lungs what to do. They just breathe. You don't tell your heart to pump the blood. It just pumps the blood. Your mind is controlling your body and the body takes action. When you take action, you get some results. The world gives you back the result. This is one of the laws. Cause and effect. So I'm going to teach you part of the laws right now. So the cause and effect law is basically you take an action, you get a reaction. Well, good action results in bad action, bad results. No, sorry, bad action is bad results. Good action, good results. But how do we change this? How do we change this? Because we become what we think about. Well, we need to be more positive, a whole lot more positive than negative. When a thought is coming to you, and they're coming, these thoughts are coming. These thoughts are coming to you from everywhere, from me, from the world, their frequencies and vibration, by the way. And this thought is coming to you. Your job is to decide what to do with this thought. Do you want this thought or do you not don't want it? Do you accept it or do you reject it? Do you make it positive or negative, right? Your job is to stay on the positive side, not on the negative. Your job is to reject any idea that's not going to help you. Your job is not to accept anybody else's idea if it's going to hurt you. Or you, you, you have to become in control. But how do we become in control? How the hell do we do that? Because do we have control of the mind? We'd like to control our mind, but it's almost impossible. But you can become more aware, right? So Bob Proctor in the awareness world says, we just have to become more aware. We're at this level right now in our physical human being and where we are in life. And as we become more aware, we rise, right? This is the spiritual. And this is the physical. And we have an intellect. Well, this is our intellect right here. So as ideas come to us and there's power that's coming to us, every day there's power coming to you. You decide to be positive or negative. So if you're getting negative thoughts, your job is to say, nope, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to accept that the interest rate is high and I cannot make money. I can make money. It doesn't matter if it's going up or down. I'm not going to accept that the interest rate is rising, that real estate is bad right now because that's what everybody's saying. But guess what? Two or three percent of the population is making a lot of money in real estate. Maybe not you, but many people are because they've rejected the idea that it is negative. They said, no, it's positive. It's all about what you accept or what you reject. You have to become in charge. So they simply, basically, there's power coming to and through you. All right? This is life. This is power. This is life. These are thoughts. It's coming to and through you. And we decide what to do with it. We decide if it's negative or positive. Now, this is the idea. When I said you got to take action every day, your thoughts become an idea. And that's your goal. That's your love. Right? That's the thing that you want to do. Like there's something that you love to do. There's something that you really want to do. You have to keep saying, I want to do it. I'm doing it. I take the action. I do it. You got to convince yourself. Like right? you have to do repetition. How do, how do we learn things? We learn things in two ways. Repetition. Repetition. I'm using the mouse to write. So excuse me here. Repetition and emotional impact. Emotional, I think, starts with an E. So emotional impact is like a 9-11 thing. Something happens and boom, you're suddenly correct. We like to do it by repetition, okay? I don't like emotional impact. I like repetition. So I tell myself, for example, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it, right? I, I write my goal. Let's say my goal is a million dollars, right? I'm going to write my goal here. And I want you to write your goal on your sheet, okay? And I tell myself, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. This is the idea that I want. The idea is in my intellect. And I want to impress the idea on my subconscious mind. Now, how do I impress it? Repetition. Now, repetition is not enough. Repetition, it just gets it implanted. I got to take this idea and I got to get it here in my subconscious mind. Once the idea is here in the subconscious, it has to happen because the subconscious mind controls the body. It tells the body what to do. It tells it what action to take. It goes into vibration. And then you take an action and you get some kind of results. Your whole job is to keep repeating the idea until you become it. Now, most people will not do this. 
most people will not last 30 days in a row repeating an idea in the morning that I can do it, 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 I can do it. Most people will not say, uh, I'm so happy and grateful now that I achieved the goal. Do it for 30 days. Listen to it for 30 days. We need repetition. That's 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 the magic way of learning. Now, most people will fail at it. And you'll do one day, they'll do two days, they'll do three days, they'll do 10 days. You got to keep doing it until it becomes in the subconscious mind. Once the idea is in here, and my three ideas, I've achieved three things out of four. In a short amount of time, big things, things that I didn't have. The goal is something that you don't have. Once it's in the subconscious mind, it has to happen. It's the law because the subconscious mind is connected to infinite intelligence. All the all knowledge, all the awareness is going to give it ideas to attract the people into your life to get the results that you want. That's why we need to implant the idea into the subconscious mind. We have to do that. Unfortunately, most people are too stubborn. Most people are too negative. Most people have bad habitual training and they don't um, they don't overcome these things. They are stuck. But everything starts in the mind. Everything starts in the mind. We have to control the mind. It's, it's really not by hard work. You've already been working hard. So all my job right now is fall in love with an idea that I really want. And I want to keep impressing the idea. I want to write the idea. I want to talk the idea. I want to say the idea. I want to share it with as many as I can. I want to feel good about it. And I want to know how it feels. Okay. Now, this subconscious mind likes the feeling. I like the feeling of money. I like the feeling of real estate. I like the feeling of investments. I, it feels good to be on the beach. It feels good to be dressed nice. It feel, what does it feel like when you're in the business that you want to be in? Like this goal of yours, right? You have a goal. Type in the chat. Uh, what, what's one feeling? Type in the chat, every one of you here. What's one feeling that you are looking for from your goal? What's the feeling? Don't be shy. It could be love, right? I have some friends, uh, clients, that they want to fall in love with somebody. That's what they're working on. What is the feeling that you're looking for with your goal? Because feeling is everything. The subconscious mind works based on feeling. It's not good enough to just say it. You have to feel it. Like you can see I'm excited about this material. The feeling is everything. So for your goal, right? What's one feeling that you're looking for? Is it freedom? Is it not being hungry? Is it comfort? Is it love? What's the feeling? And close your eyes. And what does it feel like to be in that joy state? And you have to be in that state a few minutes a day. I take breaks two, three times a day to be in that feeling. Right? I want to be in that feeling. Now, most people will meditate and they have no idea what they're doing. Oh, I'm meditating. What the hell are you meditating on? Oh, I'm listening to some rhymes from somebody from some mountain. Like, what are you doing with it? Nothing. And how's your life? Nothing is happening. I love that, Dr. Sarah. Peace, gratitude, and love. I love that. Thank you for sharing that, right? So most people are, are, are attempting to do it because they're following YouTube University. They go and they listen to some uh, rhythm on YouTube. They go to listen to some music from somebody and they have no idea what they're doing and they never get results, right? Financial freedom, love it. But what does it, what's financial freedom? Like to be able to pay the bills without even cause, right? To be able to help as many people as you can, to be able to not to worry about your mortgage payments and this and that, to not worry about money, right? Time and money freedom. Most people are wanting that. So fall in love with the feeling. I am falling in love of the feeling, right? I'm falling in love of the feeling of the things that I want. Whatever is your goal, I want you to fall in love with it. Exercise number one, right? Fall in love with the goal. If you're not in love with it, why are you doing it? You're, you're 30, 40, 50, 60 years old. When are you going to do it? Fall in love. And what does it feel like? Oh, excitement. Good. Love. Marriage. I know. Relationship. 
buildings, whatever is the thing. You have to you have to know the feeling that you want. Now, what happens with the feeling? Once you get into this feeling, right? This is what Neville Goddard talks about. The feeling of the wish fulfilled. So when the goal is achieved, when you earn the million dollars, right? When you earn the $10 million, what's it going to feel like? And you have to put yourself in it. You close your eyes and you put yourself there. Okay, and then what? People mostly, they stop there. But I'm going to teach you what to do next. Because once you're in that state, you've opened the channel. Right? You've opened the channel of abundance. You've opened yourself to the spiritual laws to help you achieve what you want. This channel, I'm going to get a bigger pen. Let's get a bigger pen and let's make it red. Uh, yeah, make it red. So this channel is going to come to you and it's going to help you get it. Once you get into that feeling often enough. Now, how often? As often as you want, as often as you can. I see my goal in the morning, at night, in the afternoon, and when I go for a walk, when I go for a run, when I'm speaking, when I'm talking, when I put my hand in my pocket, when I see my goal, I see my goal all the time because I know I'm falling in love with it. And when you're in love with what you do, you'll never work another day in your life. As you get into this feeling, okay, let's go back to a smaller pen because we need to be able to write. The spiritual laws are going to bring people into your life to help you achieve the goal. You see, I did not know how to write a book. But once I got into the feeling of how to write a book, I got people in my life to help me write. Not just any people. I got Laura Langmire. She's got five New York bestsellers. I got Raymond Aaron. He's got 160 books. When I wanted to be mentored and I attracted things into my life, I attracted Bob Proctor. Yeah, I paid for Bob. Of course, you have to pay. You have to exchange something. But I attracted the number one in the world to help me. So you start attracting things into your life to help you achieve the thing that you want. Once you get into that feeling, this is what I want you to go with. Today. If you don't learn anything today, just please learn this one. Get into the feeling of what you want. This is the magic pill. This is the magic. You're going to start attracting everything in your life that you need to achieve the goal. It's just going to start coming to you. You're going to have opportunity. You're going to have people who want to do business with you. You're going to have people to uh, get you on stages. You're going to have people that want to buy your product. You, it's going to come so fast. When riches come, they come so fast, you can even handle it. The door will open. And when the door opens, it just opens. When you, when you learn to control your mind and program your subconscious mind to what you want, you open the doors of heaven. Right? You see, on earth, here on earth, we use dollars, right? I mean, in the U.S., we use dollars. In India and Bangladesh and they use a different currency, right? But in heaven, there's what I call the coin of heaven. And I'm going to teach you this transaction. I'm going to teach you how to use the coin of heaven. Now, I don't know what God do you believe in. It doesn't really matter. This is not about gods. This is about the coin of heaven, abundance. And if you want it, you shall have it. I think Bob Proctor still have it on his site. Tell me what you want and we'll help you get it. Now, this is the channel. When we help you fall in love with your goal, We'll make sure it's the goal that you want. You'll open the channel. And the channel will open to get you the results that you want. Now, most people don't do this. Most people just think the law of attraction doesn't work. Okay, it's 216. So we want to do, let me see the chat for a second here. Being attractive as I want to positive things, positive people. I love that. I love myself. That's good. That's true. One should love what they do. Yeah, I'm in love with what I'm doing for the past five years. That's good. That's really good. You have to see when you're in love with what you're doing, you never work another day in your life. I consider myself, I've worked hard for 22 years and the last three have been amazing. So uh, we want to take a five minute break by, by doing the exercise as we from the PDF. So you all by now should have the PDF. You all should have uh, downloaded it. And it's going to be on the screen either way. And the exercise is very simple. Okay. Let me just make sure we're going to do the right exercise. Hold on. Um, so I want you to go to the exercise that uh, the page starts. I don't know what page number. Uh, chapter two, goals and your life. What do you really want, right? 
What do you really want? That That's what I want you to do now. I'm going to open the page. Do, 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 do. Here we go. And I want to spend five minutes with all of you. And please don't go away. You know, you know, if you need a little break, get a little break. That's fine. But we, I'm going to put some music as well. But I want you to take this time to make a list of what you really want. And this is the first lesson. When you work with me one-on-one -on -one or in group, we work on your goal for the first two weeks. And the definition of a goal is uh, something you've never accomplished before, something that you've never done, and uh, something that you really want. But I want to help you believe, believe that you can do this, right? Look at what Napoleon Hill said. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So if you're thinking about it, that means you can do it. But you don't have it yet. But if you're thinking about it, if God, if this thought came to you, it's now should be yours. The manifestation process is going to begin. So make a list of your wants. It's like a fantasy, right? Don't put any limits on what you think. doesn't matter that you know how to do it. It doesn't matter that you don't have the money. It doesn't matter that you've never done it. That's the whole point. Don't worry about the how. The how is going to be given to you by somebody more powerful than all of us. I want you to focus on what do you really want and write as many as you want. Write as many as you want. But here, in the bottom section here, I want you to pick one out of these 10, 20, 30, 40 ones. I don't know how many you're going to write. I want you to just pick one, right? I mean, I know if you're anything like me, right? I want everything. I want a boat. I want a plane. I want relationships. I want buildings. I, I, I want investments. I want multiple streams. I want everything. Why not? If, if, if I'm working for it, why not? I should have it. If it comes to my mind and I like it and makes me feel good, I should have it. So I want you to do that. So let's let's spend five minutes. I'll find the music uh, that we're going to listen to while we do this exercise. So write 10, 20, 30 things that you want. But then on this little section here, I want you to write, I'm so happy and grateful now that whatever is this thing that you want is achieved. And I want you to put a time frame as well. When do you want it by? And I want you to write, what are you willing to give up to get it? Because most of you want things, but you're not willing to give up anything to get it. You see, you have to be willing to exchange. You're all able. But what are you willing to give up to get it? Okay. What are you willing to give up to get it? Now, let me find the uh, small music that I want to share with you so that we have some music. Meditation. Meditate. Are we clear on the exercise? Easy, right? Do I have a yes? Are we clear on the exercise? These are those rhombo <clears throat> So again, we're spending at least five minutes on this exercise right now.
All right. So I personally write my goal many, 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 many times, as often as I can, all the time. Even when I'm bored, even when I'm in a lecture somewhere and I'm kind of bored or I'm kind of not too excited, I got to be there. I have Googles and Googles of these books to write my goal. Now, what happens when we write the goal? Why are we writing this goal? You're convincing yourself that that's what you really want because we have a certain things about us. I don't know about you. My goal is very big. My goal is very scary. Like, I mean, I've, I've been working on this one for the last two years. I've achieved three out of the four. And this fourth one is freaking big. And I I still struggle sometimes with that. Oh, do I really believe it? I see it happening. It's starting to happen. It's 20, 30% of the way there, but it's not happening, right? So I write my goal to keep convincing myself of the idea. I'm impressing my goal on my subconscious mind. When I'm writing it, and the difference between writing it and typing it is big. When you write it, when you take your favorite pen and you write your goal, it's like you're creating 10,000 neurons into your mind, pathways, imprinting the idea. I want to imprint that. I want to keep writing. See, there's only two ways to learn, repetition and emotional impact. Emotional impact is when I hit you in the gut, right? Oh, Jesus, you remember that, right? I wouldn't want to do that. I, I, want, I want, like, it's like when, when we were kids, my grandpa used to kind of run around and make us work by, you know, shouting at us and hitting us. They're all kind of weird stuff, you know. But that's the old way. Now we do it by repetition. So I keep writing it and I'm imprinting the idea. I'm, bring, I'm bringing the idea from my intellect to my subconscious. I have hundreds of these. Just keep writing my goal. Keep writing my goal. Look, I'll show you. Like, as, as, and that, it doesn't even need to be neat, right? I just write my goal. Keep writing my goal. That's the goal that I want. Now, why do I want it? I just want it. I don't share it with anybody unless they're on my mastermind, unless they are going to support me along the journey. So we got to keep writing the goal. That's the first thing. You're convincing yourself that that's what you really want. When you start doing that, if you do that, Earl Nightingale said, I'm glad Simon said he's uh, heard of Earl and listened to some of his recording. You start on a journey of success. You start, and you you might fall off, but you start again. You you start becoming that thing. We become what we think about. So now I ask myself, am I showing up at my best self? Am I showing up like this goal that I want to show up as? Right? If I if I if I want this goal to become real, if I want the universe to give me what I want, I have to show up like it. See, you have to be a good receiver. And when I talked about thinking into results, you becoming a leader. We have to become a good receiver. We have to become a good follower, a good leader. So I got to show up as the goal. See, Neville Goddard, like you saw in the writing in the last uh, page here in, in, in the little book that uh, we, uh, where is the book? Let me, let me share the screen again. Look at Neville Goddard. Rather than being an onlooker thinking at, of the end, become a partaker thinking from the end. Don't be an onlooker. Become it. Feel it. Right? Feel it. Joe Dispenza, one of his ministers, he goes, feel it. Right? Pick your want and goal from the list above. You should only focus on one or two goals at a time. I know you want more than one, but just focus on one for me for now. Right? That's what I'm talking about. Like, I, I want you to feel it. I want you to, to start something much bigger. Right? Much bigger. And I this is what I write. I write, I'm so happy and grateful now that. Boom. That's one of the secrets of goal achieving. Most people don't do this. It's simple, but it's illogical. It's simple, but it's illogical. Now, Sandy Gallagher was uh, with Bob Proctor, and she helped him really move the company to a whole other level, right? And, you know, Bob was doing it for about 45 years, and the last 16 with Sandy, it really became worldwide, right? And the reason... We, we have to write, again, I'm going about the goal, is because we got to change the paradigm that you're in. The paradigm is just a bunch of habits. The paradigm is just your existence, the way you're living right now. The income that you're in is your paradigm. And we have to change it. Writing the goal helps you change this paradigm. You have to become uncomfortable. If, if your goal is not making you uncomfortable, it's not big enough. Like, it's not good enough to say you want an extra $10. Here, I'll give you 10 and you move away, and that's it, you're done. It has to stretch you. You got to build this new model. Right? It really has to move you. So this booklet that uh, you'll go through it on your own time and you can come back with questions. That's that's my gift to you. This is the, the seventh bonus of you being here is having this book that I'm putting together. 
that this is what I used over the last two and a half years to accomplish what I've accomplished. And you can use it. Use it to do anything you want with it. Uh, just don't share it with people online. Just keep it to you and your family and maybe your team. But so that's what you need to write. I write my goal as often as I can. I have it on my desk, on my pocket. I have it here. And I also have one more thing about my goal. Now, this is this is the thing I told you, and I'm grateful that you're all here. And some of you, the first time, I'm sharing with you what's working for me. So on my phone, you might want to write this one down. On my phone, I have an app. It's called Voice Loop. Okay. On that app, on that voice loop, I've recorded my goal. So I'm so happy and grateful now that, and I say my goal. And it's just a quick thing. And when I'm running or when I'm walking in the park and I'm seeing the world and I'm seeing the trees and I'm seeing the universe, this goal is coming into my mind. It's coming into my mind. It's coming. I'm impressing the idea. I'm I'm forcing the goal into my mind. I I I'm I want it to be enlarged because once I'm fused with the idea. You might not believe it. I hope you do. But if you don't, believe it. Trust me. Borrow the belief. Once you're fused with the idea, once you're at that frequency and vibration, it has to happen. It's the law. It's like gravity, you know? If I drop something, it's going to work. So you just have to fuse with the idea. So on this voice loop app, I love it, right? So I have my goal on it. And I just turn it on and it just keeps repeating. Now, why is this powerful? It's very powerful. Because you're talking from you to you, Aditi to Aditi, Somadipta to Somadipta, Kamal to Kamal. I'm telling myself what I want. I want to tell myself good things. I want to tell myself that I'm going to do this. I'm able to do it and I'm going to do it and I will be doing it and I'm doing it. It's very convincing. Convincing. Auto suggestion is the most powerful force. Auto suggestion. So I'm auto suggesting my goal from myself to self. So simple, but nobody uses it. This is like a million dollar trick. I'm using it and it's working. And who taught me that? Well, practice. Now, this guy did this for 61 years. He's passed away now. So use whatever works for you. Start with something small. But believe me, once I put it on this voice loop app, and there's many other apps, but that's the one I use. I love it. And I listen to it as often as I can. I write it. I listen to it. And if I'm not feeling good, I listen to my goal. And I want you to write this one down. If you're not feeling good on one of these days, and it's going to happen. Because like Aditi said earlier, or somebody in the chat, you know, these negative ideas come. When you start not feeling good, what's happening to you? What's happening? You're getting involved in something that is not good. You're involved in an idea that is not good because you should be feeling good. You should be feeling awesome. You should be feeling powerful. You should be feeling positive. You should be feeling engaging. But if you're not feeling good and you're starting to crash, I want you to know and I, I want you to stop, like start catching yourself. Now, it's not going to happen right away, but you're going to start on this track. You start catching yourself. Oh, shit, I'm not feeling good. What have I been thinking? What have I been thinking? You've been thinking something not good. That's why you're not feeling good now. Because the results are the manifestation of what we've been thinking about. Thoughts become things. Watch the movie The Secret. The law of attraction. We become what we think about. Even Einstein said it. Like It just matters. You know, Thought is the coin of heaven and it becomes physical. Your body goes into this physicality. I think I want to draw something. And then we're going to move into the second part of this. We're running a little bit behind on time, but it's very important because it's coming to me right now. So here you are. If you're not feeling good, it's because you're thinking something negative. Know that this negative is going to impress itself into your subconscious mind and is going to impress itself into something not good. You're going to have a headache. You're going to have a migraine. You're going to not feel good. You're going to want to sleep. You're going to start feeling miserable, all kind of stuff. So no, when you're not feeling good, you've been getting yourself involved in a negative idea and you need to stop. And I get it. Some of you have difficulties. Some of you have family problems. Some of you have illnesses, but it's all because we've created this monster. You've made an appointment in time with your results right now. You've actually created everything in here. Your mind created it all for you. 
You just don't like it. And I tell you, this is the truth. You now, somebody much smarter than me figured this out, and I just use the information, right? I just want to use the information. All right, we're going to get back to the presentation. Any questions on that before I move to part uh, two, two and a half? I love that. Going to accept it 100%. Do that, man. See, it's going to change your life. This one idea is a million-dollar idea. All right, so PowerPoint, let's make sure it's there. Now, why, why is this important? <clears throat> it's important because these goals will change your life. These goals, they could be money, but I want you to start imagining more, right? I want you to start thinking of these goals that are going to help you physically, help you your business, help your philanthropy, spirituality. This is everything in your life. Uh, this is the wheel of life. When people work with me, they will start feeling better everywhere because we shift them to the positive. We shift them to be to, to in many different ways. It's not just money. Money, money is just the uh, equivalence of service that you're going to start doing, okay? I love this diagram because uh, some people come to me and they're somewhere here in the three, four, five feeling. And I take them all the way to eight, nine, ten. I want to be ten plus on everything. I want to be spiritual. I want to be happy. I want to have more romance. I want to have more health, more finance. I want everything. Tell you, I'm greedy. I want everything because it's already here. Science and religion both agree that everything is already here. So why not? And this man in his book, he said, thoughts become things. If you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. If you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Can you see it in your mind? I'm going to teach you how your mind works. I'm going to teach you the power of your mind. But I want you to start betting on you. I was with Les Brown and he goes, Kamal, the reason you won, the reason you're winning is because you bet on you. And I want you to know every one of you here, Dr. Sarah, Simon, and uh, Soma Dipta and Everybody that's here, are you betting on yourself? Are you showing up? You really, you want that million dollar business? You want that $10 million account in it? Are you betting on yourself? One, are you taking enough risk? Are you persisting? Why not? When are you going to do it? Are you cranking the, 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 the energy into your system, into your team, into your life? When are you going to press on the gas? When are you waiting for? You're waiting for retirement? What the hell is that? I want you to start betting on you. See, I bet on me when I jumped on the boat, when I jumped on that mentorship, when I jumped to uh, do my business 100% coaching. I bet on me. And I want you to start betting on you because if you can't bet on you, who will? And I hope I got your attention because we talked about a big goal. We talked about the initial way of thinking of what you want and really deciding and start the energy of manifesting it. Towards the end, I'm going to share with you the visualization technique we might not do it because we don't have a lot of time, but I'm going to share with you that the third gift is the visualization technique. But I hope I got your attention that it's not hard. It's simple, but it's things that you have not been doing that you have to start doing. Now, you have several choices in life. You could either continue doing what you're doing and you're surviving. You're going to be fine. I mean, if you're here, you're watching this from somewhere safe, you're going to be fine. Yeah, a little bit, 10,000 more, 10,000 less is not going to matter. But if you want to get a way better, if you want to start really moving your life into a whole way better situation, would be much better, right? Most people, they're either surviving or they're getting much worse. 95% of the people are struggling. They're not paying the rent on time. They're not paying their bills and they're miserable. They're honestly miserable. Now, I use this system, what I call thinking into results. This roadmap, this GPS to help me achieve what I want. And it's working for me. And when I started teaching it, I asked Bob, like, how is this going to work, Bob? How, how am I going to get people to study with me this? He goes, Kamal, you just share with them what you're doing. You share with them what you're doing. And he goes, when Ray Stanford mentored Bob, Ray told Bob, my way is working, your way is not. Why don't you follow my way? So Bob started following Ray and he learned Think and Grow Rich. And he learned the laws of success. My way is working. Your way is now. Why don't you follow my way? So he said, just invite them, ask them to take a look at it and really become the best version of themselves. So it's not a mystery. The roadmap is here. 150 years of science and psychology. And I like, oh, so I can just do that. He goes, yeah, just do that. Don't force anybody into anything. They're going to have to want it. And some will and some won't. Now, those who will, will get results like 
Diane did, like Richie did, like Bina did, like many, many others. And if I can do this, you can do this. Now, the satisfaction is guaranteed 100%. 100%. You probably, if you haven't felt it by now, you know I want to help you. That's the only reason why I invited you. Because I want to help you. I want you to become 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times better than what you are. I do. I want you to become better. I want you to achieve more. I want you to have more. I want you to ask more from the world. I want you to ask more of yourself. I want you to start showing up a better man and a better woman because you can. I know you can. Because if I can do it, you can do it too. Now, the 1% of the population that succeed are the ones that make decisions. And that was the third thing that Bob taught me. If I simplify it into three words, you know, we often ask these things as coaches. What's one word that you, well, decision-making is huge. You have to decide based on your intuition. What does your intuition tell you? Like the 1% of the people that make the money make decisions fast. And that's so proven in Think and Grow Rich, the laws of success, Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, Warren Buffett, everybody that is somebody. Procrastination is the opposite of decision. This is science and psychology. This is not a myth. This is not a maybe. This is a must. I want you to, uh, this is another third or fourth point that I really want to want you to take home. This works. If you work it, you it will work. It has to work. You have to stop not deciding. You have to start deciding. You wait too long. How do I know that? Because I used to be like that and I'm getting better every day. I'm going to teach you decision making. All right. Now, most of my clients, like I said at the beginning, they're mostly private. So some of them, I can't show their names. I only share with you the names of the clients that said, hey, it's OK. Um, there's 30, 40 percent real estate. And then there's a mix of moms and there's a mix of insurance agents and some stressed parents. And uh, the age, the age is different. OK, the, the key, the key is uh, I missed the slide. You have to want more. And if you want it, I want you to know that you shall have it. Uh, like I said, Bob has this thing on his website, probably still there. Tell me what you want. We'll help you get it. And all desires must come to form. The fact that this thought is in your mind, it has to come to form. Now, the key is how do you manifest it, right? And uh, and this fit another one of my favorite books. We're going to have a series of lectures on it by uh, Wallace Wallace. You do not get rich by doing certain things. You get rich by doing things in a certain way. Well, the certain way is what I'm sharing with you here today. Is one of the ways that works for millions of people, thousands of companies, right? You got to start doing things in a certain way. This is about your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. What do you want to do? Average is over, you know? You want to have to change your self-image? Absolutely. Do you have to change your attitude? Absolutely. Can you become better? Yes. Can I become better? Yes. Whatever I'm telling you, I'm telling myself, by the way. This is almost like a lecture from me to me, right? Because I could only share with you what my experience has been, what I know what to do. Your experience is going to be different based on how much you put yourself into it, based on how much you want the growth, based on how serious are you, right? Are you interested or are you committed, right? And a little bit, I'm going to share with you what would it be like to, to work with me? What would it be like to go from where you are to where you want to go? Because you're here today. You're somewhere. Yeah, I hope you know where you are and you want to go somewhere else. You're at a certain income level, you're in a certain position, you're in a certain career, and you want to build your business, right? But how do you get there? What's the easiest way to get to that next level? What's the easiest way to get that goal achieved? What's the easiest way to remove all these blocks? Well, what Bob taught me is changing paradigms, shifting your paradigm, shifting your frequency, shifting your vibration. That's going to help you shift. When you shift your habits and your paradigms, you shift everything for the better. Because we want always going to get better. Right? We, want to, we want to get better. And it's all about you. The, the limitation is only held by ourselves. There is no limits. Because if you, I mean, I'm a Christian, right? So I believe in spirit. I believe in God. I don't know what you believe in. But we have this abundance that is available to us. And we only hold ourselves back. So we can create our own economy. Now, why am I not creating a billion dollar company? Is because I don't see myself doing that yet. It's our own limitations, right? But you can create your own economy, whatever is your goal, right? And these paradigms is what we need to overcome. I'm not going to get into the detail of it. In the PDF that you got, it's going to talk more about it. But that's your habitual behavior. That's how you've been living up to now. We're going to shift all that. We're going to shift this mental program to that next level. 
right? We want to, we were going to shift it because that's the income that you're at right now is your paradigm, is your habitual behavior. You change your habit, change your income, change your life. Maybe you've seen that on my website, change your habit, change your income, change your life. That's what we do. That, that's how we're going to help you really progress. Now, most people will spend a lot of time fighting existing reality, fighting uh, their negative beliefs, fighting their parents, fighting their company, fighting their network. No, we're not going to do that. Buckminster Fuller, he's incredible, really incredible. He said to change something, build a new model that makes the existing obsolete. That's what I'm going to help you with. I'm going to help you build a new model. I'm not going to fight the old reality. The old story is done. You see, we only have now. I don't have yesterday. Now, when you work with me right away in lesson one, just in lesson one, within the first two weeks, I say here a month, but it's actually two weeks for the first lesson, you'll get everything that I have. You'll get the mentorship. You'll get the guidance. You'll get the training. You'll start to learn how to think and grow rich. You start to have to uh, apply these into your life, daily routine, daily destroyer, first chapter of my book. You, you're going to get so much. I mean, so, wow. We can't even fit more things on the screen. I told the, uh, the programmer, like, oh, my God, how many more things are we going to give? He said, just give it all. The more we give, the more we get. That's just in lesson one. Imagine when you get 12 lessons. Imagine what you get when you get the whole thing in your hand for life. Now, what, what happens when you get the whole thing for life? Like, what, what really happens? I think a lot will happen. A lot, a lot will happen, right? A lot will happen. Uh, let me see here. Mm, how are we doing on time? Just checking the time here with us. I'm going to make sure we finish on time. So, okay. So I just skipped a couple slides that I was doing with the goal. So in the exercise, we said we really want to have a big goal. We want to move to that frequency and vibration. We want to get there with ease, right? We don't want to get there with anxiety. We don't want to get there with uh, hard work because it's not hard work. We want to move from the bottom results to the top results. We really want to get there. And we want to get there fast. And this is a beautiful definition of success. I don't know what it is to you, but I like this one from my own. The progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Progressive realization of a worthy ideal. I want you to become part of the successful people, the one, two, three percent that are making it. I, I don't want you to be part of the 54 percent that are broke. I don't want you to be part of the five percent that get to the age 60, 70 or 50, whatever, and they're still working, right? I want you to just really like become courageous. I want you to not conform anymore. Stop acting like everyone else. I want you to really shift. Why do I want you to do that? Because you can do it, right? You can do this, right? Now, if you conform, you're going to keep getting the same results. The key is how badly you want to change, right? how, how badly you want to move uh, to, to that next level. Everybody, like I think some of you in the beginning said you want time and money freedom, right? Everybody wants freedom. Everybody wants time and money freedom. What would it be like, right? <clears throat> what would it be like to have time and money freedom? I love that. We got this. Yeah, we definitely got this. I mean, I have so much more time now. And if you're running out of time because the things you got to do is because you're not delegating enough. You're not growing your team enough. You, there's something missing that we need to talk about, right? If you don't have enough money to spend, it's because you're not thinking big enough. You're not serving. Money is just the exchange of service, right? I love this one. This is on, on Bob's book. This is on Bob's website. This is in the thinking. We can show you how to turn your annual income into monthly income. It's a beautiful goal. How would your life change when that happens, right? Sorry, I'm going quickly through these slides because I want to make sure we finish on time. And I do want to share with you a uh, couple more big things. Actually, they're significant because uh, one, one of them is really a testimonial. But you have to make a decision, right? See, leaders make decisions quick, right? To, to get that next level, leaders make decisions quick. And that's what thinking is all about. It's made for leaders. It's made for executive. It's like the 1% of the people that really become somebody. Now, when you when you come to work with me, and I'm going to share with you, how, I hope it's okay to share with you how to work with me and what you get. 
Is it okay if I share with you what you get fully when you work with me? Can I put that in a, can I see a yes in the chat? If any, you guys want to see that? What you get when you work with me? So with, with thinking into results, it's a, a wealth building program. Thank you for the yeses, by the way. I appreciate that very much. It's, it's a wealth building program. It's a wealth building mindset, right? It's six months of life coaching and mentorship live. I'm not talking recorded. I'm talking live. There are some videos you'll watch, but it's live. 12 lessons, it's the GPS, lifetime access, interactive coaching, you and I. Some people are come private, some people come to the group, depending what you like. There'll be two access uh, calls from an outside uh, seven and eight figure entrepreneurs. These are pretty interesting people. Multiple book clubs that you can actually access that I run, you know, from Think and Grow Rich to You Were Born Rich to, I won't even say all the name. There's a lot of them. Now, this is what one of the latest, uh, I think you heard Diane, and this is another one from Richie. I mean, look what Richie had to say from working with me. Richie is an accounting now. He was an employee when he came to me. He wasn't feeling good. He was struggling. I'm just going to read what he said. Uh, Since working with Kamal, I made more in the first five months of the year than I did all last year. I really expect to quadruple my income. Who would like to quadruple their income? This is not me. This is Richie. By the end of this year, I am thankful for the lessons learned that I can continue to apply to achieving my goals. Kamal is able to hear you talk about the events and struggles you may be having in your business and provide key insights and strategies to help you rethink your situation and begin moving you forward in the direction of your goal. I'm thankful that I found him as a coach and thankful for the life-changing lessons and exercises and thinking into results. Thank you, Kamal. He's now not in a job anymore. He's got his own tax and accounting company and he's doing phenomenal. Look at that smile. I mean, do you want do you want that smile? Who wants the smile? Give me a yes. Give me a one in the chat if you want the smile. I mean, that is Richie, right? I mean, I I love it when he sent me. I'm like, wow, quadruple. Five months. So you need speed. Like you have to become fast and you got to start taking action. Like you got to start. Like you, you have to stop being a skeptic. And you have to move with the momentum. You have to, Speed gives life force, right? And I want you to start becoming an action taker. You might not be, you may be. I know some of you are, but I want to get you on that moving, moving fast. And we use thinking into results. Speed gives you life. Speed gives you momentum, right? Now, I asked you if it's okay to share with you uh, how we do this and what does it cost to work with me. And I'm going to do that next. Uh, I hope it's okay. So do I see a couple of yeses in the chat that it's okay for you uh, to see how to work with me? I see Biyaya said yes. Ishan said yes. Sumadipta said yes. All right, we got about half of you here. Simon said yes. All right, cool. Yeah, and I got to apologize. We are going to go a couple minutes over the two hours, but hopefully you can stick around for a second here. I want to share with you what, it, what what's it like because it's not magic. I I don't do the things that you know everybody else says. I'm very honest and I just and I give it to you straight, right? This is how it works. It's not going to be hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's not going to be fifty thousand dollars. It's not going to be the full price of twelve thousand or even ten thousand, right? The six months life coaching, the lifetime access, it's going to be for seven four nine seven. That's it. That's it. That's what it takes for people to start quadrupling their income, like you heard, Richie. That's what it takes for people to start having a life, to start getting to the $10 million business like Diane, right? Start feeling really good. Six months. The reason it's not that, the reason it's not that is because you are here today. You took the chance. You spent the time. You're here for the last hour and 50 minutes listening to me speak. And I want you to be in class on Monday because you're showing that you want it. Now, the group class is on Mondays. Private is different. Private, we have to talk about it and see when is available time slot for you. This is the price for the private on Monday. And you can start effectively Monday. You don't need to wait. It doesn't, it's not, it's simple, right? We, we gotta keep, this business is simple. You want it, I'm here for you. We're resonating. The truth resonates. The truth will set you free. Let's go. Six months, you and I. It's not going to cost you 100000 like what I paid to be with Bob Proctor, Laurel, John Martini, Harrison Klein. 
barely half of, of what it used to be. And you could be in that group on Monday in class. It's phenomenal. It's it is phenomenal. It's 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 phenomenal. It's actually less than seven. I mean, this is what we said here: seventy, whatever, seventy four ninety seven. But it's actually seven thousand plus the tax, right? There's a small tax here in Cincinnati. Twelve lessons, twelve lessons. But you have to make a decision, right? You have to make a decision that you want this. You have to make a decision that, man, I want what this guy got. I want some of the his clients' results. I want to help my team. I have people that just put their teams to work with me because they're busy, but they put their teams, which is pretty cool. 100% guarantee as well. Like, you know, if you're not happy within the first 30 days, if you're paid in full, we'll, we'll deduct the, the initial cost. I think there's a small cost, but you can change your mind. But I'm sure you're not going to change your mind because I'm going to be there for you. It has never happened. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let me see the chat. Absolutely. Yes. Love it. I love that, Dr. Sarah. Now, this is a dear client of mine. Uh, she graduated. She worked with me for about 18 months. And this video is maybe six, seven months old. Uh, so it's, it's a few minute video, but I want you to watch it. Uh, do I have permission to share with you another video on what's it like to work with me? And what's, what does a client feel like? Uh, do you guys would like to see another testimonial? I see yes from Dr. Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? This, this one is amazing. It always puts tears to my eyes when, when I hear this uh, testimonial. I'm going to play it for you, and then there will be, uh, then we'll summarize. So let's let's do that. Let's listen to what the amazing Lori has to say. Growing even more. All right, let me so, record. Let me record yes. that. So people, Kamal, you have you have helped me change my life with Bob Proctor thinking into results, Proctor Gallagher Institute. I have never been so into anything like I am. And I've done a lot of self-help and I've done a lot of coaching. I've done coaching, coaching, coaching. And I will tell you, I've had the best first quarter in real estate in the whole 16 years I've been in business. And that's not because the pricing increase, that's number of transactions as well. So I've had, I think I had, let me see, by the end of March, it'd be like 11 transactions. And that's the biggest in the, and I live in Massachusetts, don't forget. So typically January, February, those are not typically great months, you know, because, and, and I got to tell you, I, I used to make jokes about it. I posted it on Instagram, selling houses in the snow. <laughs> I know I've seen you on the car. Was, I've seen was, you driving, going around. It's so awesome. I was just embracing the winter and you, you know, this year changed my whole mindset about everything in my life, not just my business, but doing business in the winter time. I would just like sit on the couch every January <sighs> like this. Right. <laughs> and then it's like, then you said to me a couple of times, you got to move your feet. Let's go. Move <laughs> like, your okay. feet. <laughs> I didn't put on as much weight this winter. That's a good thing. I only have 12 pounds instead of 20. So. There you go. <laughs> But so, look yeah, at yeah. All, all the excitement, all the energy that you have. And, and that's the thing, right? It's, it's really not just the money. It's who you're becoming, Lori. It's, it's right. how many you're going to help in your community, sell their homes. Your team is going to flourish more. They're going to get their bonuses. They're going to get their compensation. So this is not about being selfish. This is about all around abundance. Like everybody's going to be helped. Yeah, I used to think I could just get this on YouTube, right? I'm like, oh, I don't really need to. I can just get all these videos on YouTube. He's on YouTube. But it, here's the deal. Sometimes when you're in a, in a, in a, in a, in that, like looking at, at people that are mentors like Bob Proctor or Tony Robbins or whoever it is, right? If you don't have a mentor or a coach to hold you accountable, it's easy to slip back. You know, so, and not only that, you're here all the time. Like mm -hmm. this is extra. This is like, this is a th right here. This is a thousand dollars right here, right? Think about it. And that's not what people are gonna pay, but this is right here. They're getting this for free. Yeah. I mean, think about all the value that that is brought to the table by you, Kamal. And I mean, I'm telling the, the people in the clubhouse yeah, room as I well as the people on Zoom, it's like, it's worth the price of admission because I've more than 10 X my, my, my money that I invested more than 10 X. So, so um, by the end of March, of course, cause I have, you guys hear that. I mean, Richie did, is going to do quadruple. She's more than 10 X 10 X. It's incredible. I mean, I'm, 
And it just keeps getting better. It keeps getting better. So closing yeah. something, but more than 10x. And yeah. how can you, I mean, you're going to, what other investment, you know, when I spend money on advertising, I invest money on advertising, I expect a 10x return. And when mm -hmm. I don't get it, I get angry. You know, I have this one company and they're like, oh, you know, you got to do this in addition to that. I'm like, no, no, no. I did not 10x my income. So therefore I'm canceling it. This is something I'll never cancel. So I hope you have so other things coming up. <laughs> we do. We do. I was just Good. telling Elliot what's got coming up in uh, around April. We, uh, no, around May, May, June. We're going to start a new one that we're going to all grow because we're growing. We're growing fast. And I want to keep getting you where to keep that wave moving. So. I love that because I took a little step back after vacation mm -hmm. and then, you know what, they, yeah. I came back and there you were, there you were, you know, there you were, you know, you yeah. text me, you got the rooms going, you invite me to the rooms and I don't just get one invite. I'm like, click, click, click. All right, I'm coming, <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm here, I'm here. That's good. That's, and you know, and it's not just this year, like once you get your money back and once you get that feeling, there's going to be oh another gosh. year and another year and another year. So it's just going to keep piling. And uh, I have a feeling that like, cause I did that in, in less than six months, less than six months. Cause I came, I officially signed up. I think it was October 28th. Yeah. Right. And you said to me back then, you're going to need a telescope. Cause I had no, I had like very little income. I had one closing. Yeah. I was hanging my. I remember going, <laughs> "Oh my god, oh, I only have yes. one closing." Come on! I was like so scared, yeah. and I could reach out, and you would say, "There you go," and you would you say to me, "Let's go." I know, and, and you, and I want you to take this as your testimonial and post it, or if you want to post it, because I just, for me to sit in front of a video camera with this, I just can't. This is not scripted. I, you know, and not scripted is authentic. So. That's right join this group people bite the bullet if that's what you want to call it but you know what here's the thing the money that you invest will far uh, that'll be nothing compared to what you gain from this because you can make a million dollars next year with this coaching that's my goal i want to do a million dollars this this coming year, this this year right here that's my journey that's my goal i want to take that annual income from last year and turn it into um you know, a hundred thousand dollars a month. That's right. I love it. Yep. So good. And you can and I'm gonna make more. that grow. I'm gonna make that gross income. That's what I'm gonna call it gross income. Yeah. yeah. And next year will be two, and then maybe five, and then maybe ten, and then a billion. And you and I we're gonna be wealthy. Whew. It's gonna be so good. We're coming up on a beautiful real estate cycle, and that's the thing. It's uh you know success becomes a sure thing when you come on this train it becomes a real thing it's not a maybe you do the work you're gonna get the results that's how it works and i got the results lori's got the results carlos got the results. Two days. so it's not just one of us it's many of us and it's just a abundance and but the best part is how we feel how we're becoming and how everybody that's around us is loving us a lot more because we're better people because of it you know, well, you teach us too. like no matter what anything's doing, no matter what the economy is doing, Kamal, mm -hmm. and we've, we've talked about this, you make your own economy. It doesn't matter what the housing market does. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. what other things are doing, oil or gas or any of that stuff, because you make your own market, you make your own economy when you sign up for this this teach this coaching this is this is the best thing because if it's not real estate be something else maybe it's multiple streams whatever it is right mm -hmm. yeah we're gonna open up your mind you're gonna become aware to your surroundings so you you're not gonna you're gonna know the unprecedented changes that you have to take to accommodate what's going on you're gonna be ahead you're not gonna be dependent on the news and you're not gonna be in reaction mode you're gonna be in respond mode by the plan so it's it's just a beautiful thing I and mean, anybody that uh, comes across this material, if you don't jump on it to study it, you're just kidding yourself. You're just not ready. You're just, you know, wishing and hoping and wishing and hoping what uh, Laura calls it, uh, not Laura, Paula, YouTube University. You just have to look back at your results. How is that working for you, right? YouTube University is just YouTube University. Until you get the accountability, until you get a system that's going to oh, yeah. walk you through the walk you through the process and then you're going to get it the success is inevitable you're going to have it it happened welcome lauren thanks for joining
So that's so awesome. Thank you, Lori. I send you love. It's so awesome to see her results. And I want you all to have the same results. The system is very simple. Systematic study with myself. I'm the one. There's nobody else. There is somebody that sits me every now and then if I'm on vacation, but mostly you're going to get access to me. Systematic study. Elite level mentorship. You're going to get the best. What I learned from Bob Proctor, John Martini, Harrison Klein, Laurel Langmire, you're going to get that from me and you're going to get accountability. With the street thing, with the way we have it, success, is it, it has to happen. And that's what it takes to work with me. Uh, it's it's a very small fee, honestly, to for what you're going to get. You're multiplying your income, feeling better, saving your relationship. Uh, and I'm going to give you one one more gift, right? Like I said, you you have a the the workbook as the gift. The link is in the chat for those who want to get started. You know, thank you for putting the link uh, in the chat for what it is. It's uh, really, I don't like discounts because it changes self-image. So I don't want to call it a discount. It's just instead of paying the twelve, thirteen, and twenty thousand dollars for the group, you're gonna get it for under seventy five hundred dollars, seventy four ninety seven. It's really a piece of cake. It's not a lot. So jump while you can over the next two three days, and would love to see you on class on Monday. So. And we also have a, the third gift that part of the exercise that uh, was not announced on the site when you came was to learn how to do visualization. And uh, I'm going to share with you in an email the visualization technique that I use personally that have helped me manifest three, four out of the big goals that I'm working on. I'm working on the fourth big one. That's what I use. And I'm going to share with you that worksheet as to how to visualize because we like steps, you know, where we, the system is not broken. This is the way it's built. We, we like to learn how to do that. I'm going to share with you that checklist for those who are here. So, and now, well, I know we're just a few minutes over. I apologize about that, but it's all good. I'd like to take some questions from any of you on what you saw, what you heard, uh, what's on your mind, who's ready to jump, who wants to uh, be here on Monday, who wants to talk later on today. I'll take Q&As, please. I also want to mention for everybody that is here, also, uh, we might as well do that because this is also a networking event. So this is not just for me to grow. This is for you to grow as well. So put in the chat your name, your title, your business credentials so that Dr. Sarah can connect with Ishan, Dr. Sarah can connect with Soma Dipta and so with Simon Lee as well. So you're welcome to do that in the chat as well as a as a networking thing. It's my gift to you. I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, but I'd like to uh, I'd like you to share your questions if uh, you have any on the offer, any doubts. Um, if you have a team that you want to work with, if you want to have a private meeting with me to do that, we can do that as well. We'll we'll you know there's the calendar link I think is in the chat. Thank you so much for doing that, Dijaya. But I really want you to not hold yourselves back. Uh, like I said, it took me a long time to to understand that mentorship is the way to go, right? Mentorship, like 22 years and then in three years, it's like three, four times where we used to be. It's like, wow. Um, I'm, I'm amazed of... Uh, what has happened over the last three, four years, just being around this material. And it's just going to keep getting better. Why is it going to get better? You think I, I should be getting it by now, right? But it keeps getting better because I'm getting better. See, all I have to do, I just have to keep working on me, right? And if I keep working on me, I just keep getting better. Just 1% a day, 1% a week, 1% a month. One, you you want to become part of that 1%? Thinking into results, it's going to help you get there. So if there's no questions, I'll just mention a couple more steps. I want to help you. I'm grateful that you are here. I want you to imagine your life in much better way. More life, more business, more fun, more relationship, uh, more romance, more. That's what will happen, right? We're going to unlock all these things that are holding you back. Your ability to earn money, your insecurities. It's going to open up. Because we're going to change your paradigm. You're going to change your paradigm. I'm going to show you how you're going to do it. Right now, you're like in a, in a cage, right? I want to help you unlock it. See, if I can be in all these stages and do this kind of stuff with a short amount of time, 
some of you with the degrees that you have and the network that you have, imagine where you're going to be, Simon. Imagine where you're going to be, Dr. Sir. Imagine where you're going to be, Summa Dipta, when you study the material. The change is going to be huge. Now, it's not going to be just huge for me. It's huge for you because that's all relative, right? If you know Einstein and I study quantum physics, it's all relative, right? Imagine the change when you begin improving every area of your life. Every area. Think. Think. Every area of your life. Believe and succeed. Uh, I like this one from Bob. He said, in 85 years, Bob said, no one has achieved massive success without a mentor or a system. Now, we've got the system. And it's, for the most part, a lot of people have difficulty investing in themselves. And I, they get scared. You probably get scared. I used to get scared. I still get scared. But I do it. I do it while I'm scared. See, six months from now, just like Lori, you will need a telescope to see yourself. You will. I'm not going to go over all the benefits, but it's basically right here. And you get access to all the book clubs, all that stuff, right? Six months. We will guarantee you that you will move the needle. You'll move it. And for those who decide today, the link is in the chat. Sign up and uh, we'll see you on class on Monday. And we probably have an orientation before the 5 p.m. on Monday for the group. Uh, it's an amazing group. They're all like yourself, executives, entrepreneurs, real estate, insurance agents. And they come in and they share their business issues and we go through it. No one's left behind. We'll figure out a way. Don't, don't let the money hold you back, all right? Money is just a thing. Don't let the money hold you back. Good to see some of you put their info in the chat. That is awesome. Uh, that's all for the major content. We will email the third bonus, the part of the seventh bonus, actually, the visualization checklist as to how to visualize. And if you need help with it, book an appointment as well. If you don't feel that you can sign up, that's fine. Book an appointment and uh, you can get started as soon as Monday, 5 p.m. Sounds good. What shall we finish with? Some music? Yeah. Yes. Da, da, da. What music shall we play? I don't know. I don't know. What 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 kind of music do you feel like? Let me see what YouTube will bring us. What what's a good song? What do you guys want? What's a good song? <clears throat> oh, okay. Here we go. We're gonna play a song. If there's no questions, we'll play a song and then we'll adjourn. Sounds good. All right. Let me see if this is going to open up. Of course, it's going to be an ad. I don't have the premium YouTube. Said You did it. You did it. So thank you all so much. Thanks for being here. It's been awesome. I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sure we have uh, a lot of things coming up. And I really appreciate your time, all of you, for being here. And it's just been a pleasure. So if there's any questions or any extra help you need, reach out. You know how to find me. I'm glad to see some names in the chat. That is cool. Make sure you reach out to each other, connect, build that network, build that relationship. And, uh, you know, this is uh, this works for a lot of people. And for I'm sure it works for many, many of you. So I'm here to help. Thank you, Kamal. Thank you, Thank Kamal. You. Thank you, Dr. Sarah. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. Thank you Thank so much. You. It was a, a great presentation. Bob Proctor's work is so powerful, and you really get to the nitty-gritty, and thank you for keeping it so reasonably priced for us. And we look forward to working with you. I look forward to it. That's awesome. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a beautiful journey, and we're just going to help more people do more things, bigger things. So, so glad to have you here. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Have a good day. Good weekend. Bye. <clears throat>